In his book Proteinaholic, Dr. Davis says that animal sources of protein like dairy, eggs and meat can trigger inflammation and that inflammation is at the foundation of most of our chronic diseases. So why do they do that? Well here is how he explains it from the book. Proteins are built from building blocks called amino acids. And those amino acids come together to form a protein in different combinations. When we have an excess of protein, then we have an excess of acid. Now that can be seen with a simple blood test called a bicarb. And if the bicarbonate is low, it indicates possibly a condition called metabolic acidosis. Now if there's a constant state of acidity, we will get inflammation. Our body tightly controls the acidity of our blood very close to a pH of 7.4. So if there's excess acid, the body will mobilize calcium out of our bones, out of our muscles, and into our bloodstream to neutralize that acid. Now, when it comes out of our muscles, we lose muscle tissue, and fat is laid down in the muscle to replace it. And that creates inflammation. It also increases the risk for diabetes, and diabetes is a pro-inflammatory condition. Now there's another way that meat contributes to inflammation. Almost all the chicken sold in our supermarket is contaminated with a bacteria called Salmonella. And Salmonella produces substances called endotoxins. Now if you cook the chicken at high enough temperature, you can kill the bacteria. You can avoid the acute sickness with Salmonella food poisoning, but unfortunately the endotoxins are not destroyed they get into our bodies and set us up for chronic conditions by stimulating our immune system to mount an inflammatory response. So there's some more inflammation. There was a study they did with 21 overweight adolescents. They put them on three different diets each for a month. They ate the same number of calories. One diet was high in protein and low in carbs. Probably quite a lot of this in their diet. Another one was low glycemic and another one low fat. Now when they were on this high protein, low carb diet, they actually got very high levels of cortisol. Now cortisol is a stress hormone. It increases our blood glucose, lowers insulin sensitivity, so that will predispose to diabetes. Remember that was a pro-inflammatory condition. Cortisol also increases the risk of heart disease, another inflammatory condition. And along with the high cortisol, these boys also had a high inflammatory marker called C-reactive protein. Now another issue with meat and dairy is that they come packaged with saturated fat. And that saturated fat, you guessed it, creates inflammation. Unlike polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats that predominate in plants. So if you have atherosclerosis, autoimmune disease, chronic pain, or a disease that, whose name rhymes with arthritis, then you want to do all you can to get your inflammation under control.